Welcome back everyone, Mean Pooh here, and today I'm going to show you how to do something that a whole lot of people's been wanting to do. Now, as you know, you most people watching this video have the Acer Nitro 5 81515, okay? Now, there's a software out there called NitroSense and Predator Sense, and a lot of people's been wanting to, to use the NitroSense. So, this is how you're gonna do it, and it's gonna be really quick, okay? Now, it's not official. I don't know if it voids your warranty, but you're gonna have to do it at your own risk, all right? So you've been warned. Here we go. First, you wanna go ahead and head over to acer.com, okay? Hit support, and then go to drivers and manuals. Type in your serial or your model number. So we got AN515. Now most people have the 51. Go ahead and click 52. Scroll on down to application, NitroSense, download. And that's the version number. Go ahead and download it. Now once you get it extracted, you wanna go ahead and go into the folder. So I'm already one level down, second level. And then you're gonna see this NitroSense folder here. Don't click this, cause it'll do that and it won't work. Click this, it won't work. Okay, go ahead and click that folder and then click this box right here. And here you will get to install it. Now what we have here is that we have fan controls for the CPU and GPU. Right now, everything is set to auto, okay? You can go down here to max and it will ramp up both fans. You get up to 6122. And then down here, you have custom. And let's see, you can set it to how fast you want your fans to go sort of like a max temperature or max RPM. And then you can set it to auto. Sort of only get that high. I believe that's how it works. Down here you have your power plan and you know what your power plan is. Just like this one right here. It's a little battery thing, battery icon. And on AC, you can do power saver, balance, or high performance. And then on battery, same thing. Balance. I keep mine on balance. And I don't keep mine on high performance because I don't I just don't want my cores just running max at all times. Now you can see here, cool boost is built in. Turn it on and off. Then in the configuration, I don't know what the sticky keys are. Maybe it's something with a different model of this machine of the what the software goes to. And the windows and menu key, I don't know what that is either. I haven't figured that out. And I haven't even really messed around with it. So you can talk with them if you want. If you can figure it out, leave a comment down in the, in the comment section so everybody else can benefit from that, okay? Now, as you can see here, our monitoring for the CPU and GPU. So let's see if we can uh, drop the temperature down. We'll put it on auto. GPU's at 68. So it's, it's moving down. GPU's not doing anything because we haven't used anything that uses the GPU. So it's, so it's giving us a min of 62 degrees and 76. Let's do max. Not sure if it's gonna go down too much further because my room is not that cold. And just remember, for the most part, your CPU temperature is not gonna go down lower than what your temperature is in its surrounding area. Right. Two. What if it'll go down to 61? And I wouldn't recommend having your fans blowing 
at max RPM constantly, especially if you're not using your machine. Maybe if you're playing a game or something, but you would just wear the bearings out of it. You'll have to go in and replace them. Not really worth it to me. Okay, we hit 61. And here it's showing 6176. Let's see if I could get something to make that uh, GPU activate. Okay, this is the only way I was able to get a recording to run smoothly because every time I tried it, it was jerking around and it was moving like, I was losing 96% of the frames, okay? So I have IS Defense running in the background and right now our temperature is around 57 for the CPU and 40 for the GPU. Everything is on auto. Things are around 2941. So let's see if we can make it come down a little bit further. Looks like it's trying to ramp up a little bit for some reason. Okay, so let's hit max. And you can hear the fans. So this is just fluctuating. Put that on auto. But everything works, as you can see. Now this is not official. Again, it's not official. And you do it at your own risk. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to get that out there because people were just requesting how to get Nitro Sense on here. All right. If you like the video, subscribe, of course, and uh, most likely the next video will probably be a game of some sort, and that's pretty much it. This has been Mean Poo, and I'll see you in the next one.